Today we're going to take a look at an equilibrium between two nickel-2 complex ions. One of the complex ions we'll be considering is the hexa-aqua nickel-2 ion that commonly occurs in aqueous solutions of the nickel-2 ion. The other ion that we'll be considering in the equilibrium is the hexamine nickel-2 complex ion that forms when ammonia is complex with the nickel-2 ion. The hexa-aqua nickel-2 ion forms when six water molecules coordinate with a nickel-2 ion. And as I said, this is what commonly occurs in aqueous solutions. The hexamine nickel-2 ion forms when six ammonia molecules complex with the nickel-2 ion. So we have here the equipment we're going to use. We have a test tube uh, on a magnetic stir plate with a magnetic stirrer in it to hold our solution. We have here some 0.5 molar nickel, sul nickel sulfate solution. We have here a dropper bottle with some concentrated ammonia solution in it. And here, a dropper bottle of concentrated hydrochloric acid. Let's investigate how these reagents react with each other to form an equilibrium and then shift that equilibrium. First, let's add some 0.5 molar nickel sulfate solution to our test tube. You'll notice that this solution has a pale green color. That copper, that is characteristic of the hexa aqua nickel 2 ion. Then what we'll do is see if we can displace some of those water molecules that are coordinated with the nickel ion by adding some concentrated ammonia to the solution. We can see in our reaction immediately start to form. Giving us this characteristic blue color of the amine complex. I'll turn up my stir bar just a little bit. See if we can get this stirred up. Now the, we are observing the characteristic blue color of hexamine nickel-2 plus ion. We can shift the reaction back the other way by removing ammonia from the solution. One way we can do that is by adding hydrochloric acid. The hydrochloric acid reacts with ammonia to form ammonium chloride. The ammonium ion is incapable of complexing with the nickel-2 ion. You may notice the smoke forming as the ammonia and hydrochloric acid react in the gas phase above the solution to make ammonium chloride. And we now see the solution shifting back the other direction, giving us the characteristic light green color of the hexa-aqua nickel-2 complex. Just to show that this is reversible, let's add some more hydrochloric acid and remove that ammonia. Shifting the solution back the other way to the characteristic blue color of the hexamine nickel-2 ion.
by adding or removing the ammonia ion to compete with the water molecule, or the ammonia molecule to co that's competing with the water molecule, I can shift this equilibrium one way or the other towards the hexa aqua nickel 2 ion side, the pale green, and the hexamine nickel 2 ion side, the blue color. This is a good illustration of Le Chatelier's principle. Thank you.